thing on? Is it? Is it on? It must be. All right. Uh, thought I'd do something real quick to show you that I'm still alive and not rotting in a hole somewhere. I think I'd like the hole. Life sucks. But yeah, I've been rather busy lately. David, buddy, trying to buy a car and all that, all that good stuff. I think I'm just gonna. Rather than look for something running, find something that's turning over and then work on that until it's running 100%. I did find a nice Volkswagen, so I might look into that. I don't, I don't know, but that's life. Okay, so this one is going to be an interesting one called Shit from the Internet. I like the internet. I like to browse around it. I like to look at all the cool nitbits and this one is from a site that I have visited from time to time called Geek Buying. They specialize in electronics, mostly Chinese and other manufacturers around the Asian continent. And this is what they do. They specialize in stuff they sell. It's pretty much like Amazon for a Chinese product I guess. But whatever. I bought a few things from here. It's just a few, a few little gadgets and whatnot. It, those are fun to play with. You can get them here for relatively cheap. The quality is decent, although some of them, not so much. But that can be said about many, 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 many things you buy from any store. But one cool thing is that this particular place does mobile phones and tablets, so you can probably get a decent. Thing for a couple of bucks 80 bucks maybe it won't be all too awesome but whatever they do do smartphones chances are if you buy one it's probably not gonna work if you're in the United States most you'll probably get is 3G if you're lucky there are a few manufacturers like Xiaomi and Huawei who have been making devices for the US but that is whatever not the point alright interesting shit this little projector, I don't know what about it, but it is cool as hell. It's something I might look into getting at some point. So uh, yeah, enjoy this pretty modelly modeling it. Look how small and slim and sexy it is. Like I'm pretty sure that's like smaller than my Android TV box, but whatever. And carrying on, carrying on, carrying on, carrying on, carrying on. That is damn cool though. They are currently doing a sale. So if you want to jump in on that, I say knock yourself out. What the hell? Oh, check that out. I hear these are pretty, pretty good and they come with a, a, a Wacom digitizer. So the stylus is pretty slamming and sexy on that thing but whatever I use a Huion digitizer that has recently broken so I have to either repair it or get another one I've been too lazy to realistically do anything my phone has went out so I gotta get another one of those more money I honestly do not want to spend but whatever that's life I hate life I would kick life in the groin repeatedly. Life's a dick. Okay, here's another interesting one. It is a goddamn Windows keyboard computer. I mean, if you want to talk about seamless and and just minimal wires, this damn I guess you can call it an abomination, but it's one hell of an abomination, is it. <laughs> this is it. I always kind of figured someone would do this, but I didn't, I didn't think it would turn up like this. I mean, this is a hella cool thing. Computer to PC stick to this thing. Wow. Wow. I'm just going to say wow. Full Windows 10 experience. All that good shit is something I have to check out. I think it'd be cool to see what this thing can be, but it's using... It's using an Intel 
tablet processor. So I don't I don't know. It might not it might not be all too powerful yet. Intel Z3735F. Yeah. Would have went with a cherry trail, but whatever. Or something like contacted NVIDIA and got a CPU from them, but whatever. On to the next one. Whatever the hell this thing is, it, it, from what I can tell, it is a ultra mini PC on steroids. That's what this thing is. Customizable. Oh, you can run Android and Ubuntu. Check that out. But yeah, it's using RK3368. That's one of the newer rock chip processors. One of the more powerful ones. It's Octa Core 64 bit. Coming with two gigs of RAM, 16. Oh, check that out! It's completely modular and it looks to run with a SATA port connection. I wonder what that connects into. That's the question. Let's scroll down. Standard connections, fan, or kind of fan header, serial bus. Wow! It went, it went balls to the wall with this thing, didn't it? It did go balls to the wall with this. Check that out screen comes with its own screen so much hype so much hype but enough of this another thing from the deep dark internet this is Ami Duo it will let you run Android on your PC as an application and it runs pretty pretty sexy like check this out I am using the Android web browser this is lollipop 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 ooh lolly 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 lollipop yeah I should never ever do that again never again as for what applications it can and cannot run I have yet to establish that because I haven't downloaded anything it is able to run the Google Play Store and right now it pre comes pre-installed bam home button the Amazon App Store but I haven't logged in and I haven't exactly checked and see how it runs, but yeah, Android experience, drag down bar, options, bam, check that out, it's running as a tablet, about tablet, oh, check that out, bump bump, lollipop, bump bump, that is fun. <laughs> when you first download it you have a 30-day trial and it'll cost you 15 bucks to get a permanent license for the lollipop version of the program build 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 I am now a developer hooray hooray developer options you know everything else is it's, it's all pretty Pretty standard. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Bam. Tasks. Recent apps. Bam. Home screen. Bam. Address book. There's probably never going to be anyone in that ever at all. <laughs> <laughs> Gallery. Zero. Oh gosh. Enough of that. Remember, this is called Ami Duos. It will run on your PC. And your Windows tablet. I gotta test it on my Windows tablet. See, see how it does with that. You guys should give, totally give, like Uber million dollar likes for this. Next, PC water cooling. If you ever thought about wanting to DIY it, the parts list is pretty small, but it all depends on how complicated you want to go. I've been thinking about doing it myself. But I don't feel like spilling a couple of hundred dollars on some of these overcomplicated stuff. You realistically just need the tubing, the CPU water block, and a radiator and a reservoir slash pump. And that's your entire water cooling system. But there are also all the a ton of tubs. You can get a closed loop and it's simply just the CPU. And they have systems like this 
And like this, that run $280. But yeah, add another part to that DIY list is you want a flow regulator and if you can, toss a temperature sensor in there so you can monitor your temps and all that sexy stuff. But yeah, bare bones, I have a shopping list somewhere, shopping list, shopping list, he's up the leader, shopping cart, cart. But yeah, check this out. Tubing, CPU block, any splitters. Well, I don't really need the tubing because I got vinyl tubing. It's the same vinyl tubing I use for my aquarium's filtration system. My filtration system is sexy. But yeah, you can cut out a few of these. I don't need that so I can cut out the tubing. I already have a bunch of fans. I'm not going to be splitting it. Concentrated fluid and check this out don't need the tubing don't need the splitter don't need the connections because you're not going to probably add anything else besides the radiator the pump slash reservoir and the CPU block which already has all its fittings you're definitely going to need that but yeah check this out total 8462 you want to do a simple DIY water cooling system. You want one that's pre-made? They make them pretty cheap too. Apparently, I just found these in the deep dark recesses of Amazon. $99. Same thing. Fan, reservoir slash pump, CPU block. Bam. Water cooling. But there's no temperature systems and there's no flow regulator. I, I want a flow regulator so I can see what exactly is happening, see how it's flowing and all that other cool technical stuff. But that is just moi, my Austin Panda self, which is ironic because my dog is also named Panda. And it is too late to change her name. <laughs> but yeah. Whew, I digress. Simple yet effective. All the fittings, bushings, everything is coming in the kit itself. I'm pretty sure this is a universal water block. You can tell from the holes that it's adjustable and it'll probably fit both Intel and AMD. But yeah, I suggest you check before you buy. Always check before you buy and ask your questions. You don't want to have no buyer's remorse. $99, 10 plus tax, Amazon's been charging tax, depending on where you at, bam, another one, $99, this one is using a bigger radiator, and this one, there is no reservoir, no reservoir, oh, there it is, it has a reservoir, check that out, but the pump is separate, and it's giving you all the bushings and fittings and connectors, that one does it as well, but they don't visualize in any pictures. CPU Model B. From what I can tell, this is using an Intel. This is an Intel CPU. I do like the water block, and it is very, again, very simplistic and very, 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 I cannot stress this enough, very cheap in comparison to a lot of the water cooling systems. Like, seriously? $274. $274. I might be going to click to find out what the hell that one costs. I'm just going to keep it moving. This one is $403. I'm just going to continue. I, I suggest if you do go with this, use your own thermal paste. Use your own thermal paste. Oh, and it has self adjusting springs. Check that out. It's pretty cool. And my phone is ringing. So, uh, let me get this. Hello. Alrighty. Okie doke. Alrighty. Bye bye. Sorry about that. My popularity knows no bounds. 
my phone has an intercom function. <laughs> oh, it is annoying as all hell. I'm going to leave that in. I'm going to leave that in. And this one is actually coming with a GPU block too. So, wow. Intel GPU block, and it looks like it's using standard PC fans along with a much larger radiator. I wonder what kind of GPU this would fit. Huh. Interesting. Again, something you should add to your watch list if you want to try it out. I'll probably put some links in the descriptions or whatever. I'm not going to save all of those parts though. Because I'm not. Am I logged in? I didn't think I was logged in. I should totally not be logged in, but I'm guessing somebody. Must have bought something last night. It's probably porn. I'm kidding. It's probably snacks. I've been seriously low on snacks lately. But I digress. Continuing. Quick image search, and you find all these PC cases that pretty much kick your PC case in the teeth repeatedly. In the teeth repeatedly. Over over again the hell is that oh it's like an erector set so I'm guessing that all that is adjustable but hey we can look in depth deeper and deeper and deeper again over and over repeatedly ha 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 giggity at what these are I mean all of these are seriously like kick ass amazing the hell yeah I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna look at it. It puts my PC case to shame. So much shame. Shameful. Shamey, shamey. Is that a damn minion? That is a minion. Shame! Shameful! Hmm. Hmm. I am seriously jealous of all of these. I am going to be jealous for like the next few days until I get my snacks and then I'm not gonna care because I'm gonna totally have all the snacks all of them forever and ever and ever again although this one here is pretty cool I'm not gonna click on it so I'm going to carry on well played Pinterest well played to you garbage can PC builder well played well played indeed. You know, you just gotta be careful. Your entire rig will get thrown in the trash. <laughs> I should never make jokes. But carrying on, all those cool PC cases. Yeah, you can get them from what is this? It's the Alex, Alex, Alien, Alex, Ali. This goddamn web store importing service, or whatever the hell you want to call it. They have been getting some flack about not working or doing some suspicious shit or whatever, but I have brought stuff from here before. And it did take a hell of a long time. They do have their own, yeah, what's the word for it? Customer service. There's customer service from the seller and there's customer service from the Ali, Alien Express, let's just call it Alien Express. They have their own customer service, so that's the problem. Contact the seller then contact the overall overseer much like you would do with ebay follow the same rules same blah 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 good seller good seller rating blah 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 and for the love of god for the love of all of your products if you want to get it on time pay the extra for the shipping pay it pay it pay it pay it. if you're going to do dhl pay for it pay for dhl trust me believe you me it is worth it now let's scroll down the pictures and none of my pictures are hoping oh no screw you websites don't even want to work oh it is that one that looks like an erector set yeah impressive and somebody's probably gonna get sued for using images of wally but whatever whatever specifications Standard ITX. Uh -huh. So it is, yes, it is adjustable. Adjustable. I wonder if that big one is up here. 
but oh hey, would you look at that? It is! It is a big ass Erector set! You know, just for computers. You totally... You know, this would probably be badass if you just get a couple of panels and you, you just cover this entire thing. Cut a few acrylic panels and you just cover this entire thing in acrylic. Maybe. From what I can tell, this is more of an open air setup, kind of like how I have mine. Instead of an IO shield, I have a dust barrier filter. The hell is it called? I have a dust filter thingy in space of where my IO shield would be. Not because, well, it's because my IO shield got kind of got destroyed. It was a pretty epic way, but it's destroyed. So running it like that does keep my CPU temperature rather all right. It's it's not positive pressure and it's not negative pressure. It's more like it's an ambient. The pressure inside the PC is relative to the pressure inside the room at any moment in time. So outside of the dual fans pumping air in and out, there's also regular ambient airflow going into that space. Yeah. I should probably put more fans in there, but whatever. And that is it. That is it. Absolute sexiness. I'll probably include links in the description for this bad boy as well. But you gotta be careful. Some of these places, they got that extreme shipping extreme but no 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 not just that I'm not gonna call it quits let us let's yet let's look at what cell phones they have smartphones you know what you know what really what really bums me out is a lot of these are pretty cool but they won't work in the United States it's like this phone King Zone Right, from what I can tell, this is a pretty kick-ass 5.5-inch phone. Fingerprint sensor, 13 megapixel camera. Look like it has dual SIM slots. Nope. Yep. Yep. Dual SIM slots and expandable storage via micro SD. But, 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 buddy, but, 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 you'll only be getting 3G. I don't know what T-Mobile's LTE bands are, but it may or may not work. So if you do buy something from here, smartphone wise, do please do make sure your bands match up. Do make sure they match up. Or you're gonna be with a phone that's kinda crippled because you can't get full speed service Full speed service. A lot of the higher end phones will have this, have that international service going for it. International service. I'll probably put some sort of list of LTE bands or some shit. I don't, I don't know. Like, come on, this seventy-six dollars. Really, seventy-six dollars, and this is a pretty attractive looking phone with a really attractive looking price look like it has a metal frame metal frame Let's see what it says about that quad core mtk alrighty i is back on second door no i'm not Had to do some awesome panda related stuff like laundry. Yeah, buddy. Laundry. Oh, I should probably reconnect that. Whatever. Besides the point. Where was I? Yeah. I'm probably not going to cut out that other stuff. Probably going to give it like a really awesome link.
and transition to some shit like that. But whatever. But like I was saying, if these people wised up and they realistically thought about the market for devices like this, devices like this, relatively attractive, it's not it's on the, the it's on the low end of mid-range. It's five inch. It's visually appealing. The size is good for a lot of people. If they realistically thought to market this at this price, around the world, talking global distribution, maybe even strike up a few deals with carriers, they'll probably jack that shit up to get a quick buck. But whatever. You would sell more of these than you could possibly ever imagine. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that this didn't work with any of the US bandwidths, mobile data and network bandwidths, I would probably buy this. If this worked, I would buy this. Although it doesn't it's it doesn't exactly meet my preference for 5.2 inches and above because I have long fingers and a bigger phone feels comfortable to me. But if this worked, I would without a doubt buy this in a heartbeat. I really would. But I decided on giving an HTC I Desire I or I might get the Desire 18, 816. Because my phone is kind of it's kind of broken. Rest in peace, phone. Rest in peace. But yeah. This. 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 I mean, and then a lot of these manufacturers, they are smaller manufacturers and they do make a pretty good device. Like the back of this phone is reminiscent to an Asus device. I can't remember the name right now, though. Nor do I care to go any further with remembering the name of the device. This looks kind of like a Nexus. <laughs> The most recent Nexus device, but it's like doesn't have that gooseneck effect up here. I mean, I would buy this. It meets it meets my specifications of what's comfortable. It's 5.2 inches, 64-bit octa-core. That's pretty impressive. It's using a MediaTek octa-core. Pretty shitty front shooter. All right, back shooter. Battery's really small. Really small. 16 gigs of storage is going to be, depending on how heavy the ROM is, it's going to be about what? 12, 13 gigabytes at the most? Let's see. With this one, the most you'll be able to get is 3G on AT&T. The LTE bands wouldn't work, depending on whoever service you're using. Uh, again, I, I don't. You know what? Hold up one second. The hell? Oops, open the console. My bad. Yeah. Did not is not okay t-mobile 4g lte band spread 19850 ryzen 213 is 19 oh, it looks like they're all operating on in general the same bands 1917 being the most common among these top three along with 700 whoops PC case I should probably move this over here okay here we go yeah this is incompatible with any of the US thingies but this again it's attractive it looks like a quality build but but it's incompatible with the US frequencies. And that's the shits to that. Yeah. 
that's the shit. Let's go with tablets. Magnetic docking. Magnetic docking. Docking. Giggity giggity giggity. It's quagmire. It's quagmire. Giggity giggity goo. <laughs> oh shit. Quagmire is hilarious. Family guy for the win people. Family guy for the win. But yeah. If it's something like a tablet, it's much easier to go with. I mean, a lot of these are all right. You want to get a cheap old tablet, you can get one for like what? $80 tops? Like what, really? 90 bucks for an Onda. Onda isn't exactly all too bad either. They, they make a quality product. Tech Last makes a decent product too. Damn. $600. That's like friggin' Microsoft Surface level right there. That's some Surface level shit. <laughs> oh boy. But oh, yeah. Random shit I found around here. Well, it's not random shit I found around here. Because of the stuff I brought from them, I get like a damn email whenever. Whenever some shit's going down with Geek Buy, I get an email. What the fuck? <laughs> oh no! Oh my! If you guys can see the face I'm making right now. <laughs> oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh damn! That is. Is savage right there. Oh my gosh. Oh damn, son. Damn. I wonder what other stuff they got. This is probably not gonna be all too long of a video. It's probably just gonna be shits and giggles. And just have fun with it. Like, the suction cup. I guess that's for like outdoor use. YouTube for Mo. Yeah, that's a pretty nice baggie. Uh, I need to I need to get a bag for my tablet and my and my uh and my camera. I need to get a new damn camera. Pass the certification test. Damn. What the hell is this? It's a little electric. Wait, wait, wait. So, okay, so I'm I'm going to assume this is going to be the same premise that the hoverboards before you know that travesty went to hell <laughs> but that travesty went to hell that travesty went to hell i mean i, I remember something like this years ago it was it was a it was a motorized this is something i'm going to bookmark and it is only 39.99 it's probably probably gonna explode in the flames like couple boys do. <laughs> oh children should have come your company by the door to the plane with the skate cycle. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, let's see what the specs are. It's 2.8 kilograms. Come with the wheel, skate bag, blah blah. I don't know, I feel like if you get two of them and then you turn them like this and then you attach the board in the middle, you got yourself a nice little transportation guy thing, or whatever the shit that is. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna save this for later. Maybe get one, take it apart, check it out. Maybe recycle some of the parts and something. I don't know. So if this thing turns into a thing, just know that you probably I'm probably the first one who put this up here or some shit like that. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Alright, continuing. Bookmark. Bookmark. But yeah, that's one of those things I would have to test to see, you know, if it explodes in the flames. Like the other one. <laughs> oh wait. Not too long ago. The hoverboards were deemed completely unsafe I mean sure lithium batteries aren't the dangerous but they were deemed just absolutely unsafe like shit man 
there were a number there was a girl who was actually shot over a hoverboard I, I feel sorry for that child I truly do and that person responsible should feel the shame of themselves but whatever got some cool little smart watches You know what? I'm going to see if they. Where is it? Computers and networking. Wham. Me fan. That is a cool little. What? So all you need, all you basically need, is a power bank or a power source. What? Impressive. Most impressive. What's the power output on that money motor on that fan? Power output on that. It's pretty silent. Uh, pretty low on power too. Damn. What's the RPM this thing puts out? Flex on that. I feel like this would make a fun little. Oh, people have been buying it. Cool gadget, compact, easy use, con, none. Use my power bank for a gentle breeze. This guy's pretty much praising it. Like, this just works and it's like good. Uh, feels high quality, small gadget, make a difference. Server not found, I'm guessing this person put a video. Small, cute, convenient, but not the strongest. It could just assemble in. Portability came sky blue is my favorite color, decent amount of air for the price overall. This is not to be more useful. I have a battery pack with not useful and plug into a laptop USB port. Xiaomi continues to make excellent products. That is completely and totally true. Xiaomi does make a good product. And the fact that they haven't they don't really have all that much of a global presence is like still a bit confusing to me because as a whole, from what they made, they are a competitor. They make some good shit, bro. They make some good shit. But enough about that, I'm going to put them on this as well. Probably gonna get like five of them and see if I can get them to fly. <laughs> oh, that'd be silly, but worth it. Silly, but worth it. Let's see what we got. What else we got? USB hubs, what was that big blue thing? Oh, it's a router. If you're wondering what I use for my internet, I use AT&T Universe and it is shit, it is garbage. They should be ashamed of themselves how much garbage it is. Garbage pedal. Garbage pedal. Garbage pedal. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see what else we got down here. This is probably just a random, just for shits and giggles video. The only real serious part that I'm pretty sure I was doing were, was the PC water cooling bit. That was probably the only part that I took serious at any point in this video. <laughs> at any point. But oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's a converter. Uh, since I use my I use my PC on a TV and a monitor and a PC monitor, I do have a VGA to HDMI converter. Even though my TV does have a VGA port because it is an older TV, but I still like the quality of the HDMI. It works. And that's the end of the story. Hmm. All right. I guess I'm going to call that a vid. Oh, one last thing. No, bad blender. One last thing to say. It seems that all of this in the Android app. Remember, it is called Ami Duos. Your first 30 days is free, so if you want to test it out, I don't know exactly who runs on it just yet because I haven't downloaded or installed anything, but wow, it's 
actually partition the small 16 gigabyte space. Four. That's impressive. That is impressive. I must say that is completely impressive. But that's enough of that. Shut down. Shut down process. Bump bump. Oh no! Computer's probably gonna explode. Oh damn, that sucks. Well, it seems there's a few bugs that we don't know about. I'm gonna have to look into that. Let's close the program. No, do not look for a solution. All right, folks, that is it. Such absolute mastery of the arts. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> oh, no, but seriously. Some parts of this video was for shits and giggles, and other parts pertaining to the PC cases and the PC water cooling. As long as these little tidbits of shit I found on the net, those are all serious. I'll probably... You know what? The only thing I'm going to include links to are those two low priced water cooling systems and anything else you can just go to keep buying and see whatever the hell they got up there for those pc cases you're gonna have to go and search them out yourself i'm not entirely sure how the hell i even found these They're cool but at the same time it's meh so that's it for the panda i'm going home i'm gonna watch some tv take a shower play with my turtles